Hi, we're here in Glasgow for ESHG 2015, and we're going to talk about eight libraries, 10 pipetting steps, and less than 15 minutes of hands-on time. Hey, Michael, can you tell me a little bit about the Ion Ampeseek library prep workflow on the Ion Chef instrument? Sure. Um, it's a really simple solution that we've done. We've automated the entire workflow. It's um, basically you'll add tips here. You add a reagents cartridge, you'll add a solutions cartridge, a PCR plate, and a foil seal. And you'll simply add your DNA to your, to your PCR plate, press go. Wow, that sounds like a really simple workflow. Yeah, it, it's really amazing. It's 10 pipetting steps in total, probably about 8 to 10 minutes of setup time. Seven and a half hours later, you have pooled, normalized libraries ready to go for templating. So what are the advantages of doing your library prep on the ion chef instrument? Well, aside from just the, the complete lack of hands-on time, um, we actually get comparable, if not actually better, uh, library quality compared to manual and even expert manual users. So it, it really makes a very high quality library consistently. Great. Can, so I know you have a poster here at ESHG. Can you, can you tell me a little bit um, about your poster? Sure. Um, mainly I just kind of go over what I, I talked about, what I just mentioned. Um, the ease of the workflow, um, we have 10 nanogram input, two pool designs, um, one or two pool designs I should say. Um, super simple to use, better data quality, um, and we've actually even innovated um, to further add pre-plated barcodes, so you don't even have to worry about pipetting barcodes into your plates anymore. They come in color-coded plate sets. You simply add your DNA, press go. Can you tell me, is, is there still the need for a library quantitation step when using the ION check? Actually, that's a good point, and no, there isn't. What we've done is we've um, enabled ION um, equalizer chemistry directly into this, so you get a normalized set of libraries coming out that can go directly into templating. So during our development efforts, we've able to, been able to look at the equalizer uh, library balance, and we've seen less than 10% deviation between samples. So we get really consistent library quality and quantity across eight samples, both intra and inter-runs. Wow, that sounds really interesting. Thanks a lot for your time, Michael. Thank you.